you know, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and like it. And if it's your first time, I need to get my ending correct. If it's your first time looking at our, if it's the first time, uh, great fight. Go ahead and check out Troy in the. Uh, com I'm gonna put him down in the in the link. Wow. If it's your first time joining us on the on the Good Guy Gasly show, which is not the show, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, you know what? Whatever. Just do whatever you want. Check out Troy. I don't even care. My name's Good Guy Gasly, and that's GG. What's good, guys? My name is Good Guy Gasly, and welcome to another. Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. It's not Omega Ruby. It's Omega Ruby, my friends. Alpha Sapphire 6v6 battle. Today is a uh, special battle against Ace Trainer Troy. You might have seen him around. He does have a YouTube channel, and he is a uh, fantastic battler. Actually, uh, I'm a little nervous. To be quite honest with you, I'm I'm a little scared because uh, he challenged me to a mixed OU battle, and I'm a little worried. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Well, let's go Pokemon. We're bringing we're bringing Trident. Which is a Crawdent, and Trident is actually a gift from a subscriber and follower named uh, the Real Shady Nick. So thank you. And he's a little—he's all grown up now. He used to be a little corefish, and now he's a mighty Crawdent. We have Rule 34, which is our Gardevoir. It's not Mega. We have Obama though, who is our Mega. Dan the Man, the Darmanitan. We have Mucket the Muck, and we have Coco the Cobalion. Uh, I actually did want to put, um, what's it called? I actually wanted to put what's it, what's it called? It's a Nidoqueen Queen there. So I love Nidoqueen. Queen. But uh, I felt that was too many uh, UU mons, so we just went with Cobalion instead. Let's see what Troy is going to be bringing today. Um, yeah, like I said, real nervous. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal here. So let's see, he's bringing the Articuna, the Infern, the Slacking. The Slacking, I have a feeling that these Slackings, man, they're going to be the death of me. Uh, I was actually really close to bringing a Slacking myself, but uh, really decide, I, I, just, I decided against it just because I felt like I've been using him too much. And uh, he's been like every single battle pretty much and either wrecking me or me trying to use him and failing utterly Let's actually take a picture of his, uh, Troy's team here just so we uh, have some more material to commentate on that's that's probably a good thing to have uh, Come on phone just focus here. Thank you. Okay. Come on Really? Okay. Now you got it. Good job phone. I believed in you. I never doubted you. I never doubted you All right, so he is bringing the Magneton the B drill which is mega most likely the Sableye the Slacking the Inferno and the Articuno um to be honest, I kind of actually, why do I say to be honest, like as if I'm going to lie to you. Uh, let's lead off with, I kind of want to lead off Coco. I do want to lead off with Coco. But, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we lead off with Trident. I'm thinking we just, we just have the Trident out. I think Trident's going to be our main guy. Let's go Trident. I'm really hoping Trident doesn't uh, go down in the first few uh the first battle i'm really hoping he doesn't that would really suck he does have the focus sash on so maybe i'll catch him off guard maybe perhaps oh by the way game boy luke shirt right here the rotom the powerful rotom i had to have sends out jay-z the infernape okay i had a feeling he might leave with the infernape so good uh idea on us however however i um i have crab hammer and crab hammer well here's the thing that i'm really worried about I kind of want to go for the taunt, expecting him to think I'm going to switch and stop him from setting up rocks. Because it's very obvious that I'd switch out. It's very obvious that I'd switch out. Um, yeah, I have a feeling he's going to go for rocks with Infernape. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he's going to go for the fake out first. If he goes for the fake out, that would kind of suck because I do have the focus sash and that'll put a uh, big damper on me. So actually, actually, my friends, I'm going to go into Muck it. We're gonna go into Mucket. Is that yeah? We're gonna go into Mucket. We're gonna try this out. Oh man, I really, I really want to. Uh, I have, I'm afraid of the, I'm afraid of the fake out though, because I do not want to lose that focus ash. But then again, he's gonna put out rocks out anyway. He's gonna U-turn out. Interesting. Um, could have definitely went for a crab hammer there and hit whatever he wanted on the switch. By the way, I actually should write down my team. I have, I haven't been bothered enough to actually set it so my phone doesn't go on sleep mode like right away so uh, maybe I should maybe I should get on that so he's got the magneton or not it's not called a magneton but I, I know what it is uh, the beedrill he's got the sableye what can he switch into this thing he's got the slacking which he could actually probably go into the slacking no he's gonna go into rupee he's got the articuno 
And he's got the, what else he got? Mag Magneton, Beedrill, Sableye, Slacking, Articuno, and Infernape. Fantastic. Alright. I have a feeling he's going to go for the burn here. And that's just what I think he's going to do. Uh, it's a pretty obvious play, to be honest. So I kind of want to go into Dan the Man. Let's go into Dan the Man. Dan the Man to eat up that to eat up that will o -wisp. It's a, it's a pretty predictable play, though, and um, maybe he won't do it. We'll see. We'll see here. I have a feeling he's going to go for the will o -wisp. Yeah, he goes for the will o -wisp. Doesn't affect Dan the Man. We made the right choice. We made the right choice. Finally, finally, we do the right thing. So let's go for a... Let's see, what can we go for here? We can go for the Flare Blitz, and... Wow. Nothing on his team wants to take a Flare Blitz. To be honest, nothing. Wait, though, isn't... Isn't he really weak to, um... I'm so bad at this game. I swear I'm so bad at this game sometimes. Let's go look at Sableye really quick. I'm pretty sure he's... Su I'm pretty sure Bug is super effective, but uh, I want to make sure. I want to make sure, guys. Let's see. It's super effective bug. No, it's just fairy. Just fairy. All right, let's go for the flare blitz. Let's go for the nice and healthy flare blitz. Uh, he's actually going to eat it up. Let's see if he, how well he eats it. He's probably max defense. He's probably not too worried. Wow. Wow. That damage. Holy crap. Holy crap. What can fight Dan the Man here? What is what can fight Dan the Man on his team? His his slacking has got to be Snorlax V2. This thing has got to be uh, Choice Scarfed, without a doubt. This thing has got to be Choice Scarfed. So what can we do here? He's definitely gonna go for the Earthquake, and I have no switches into an Earthquake. Actually, we have Obama though. Can Obama though take a Earthquake? I don't think he can. I do not think he can take an Earthquake. And I kind of want to go into Coco, but Coco is not going to be able to take an Earthquake very well either. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, well, let's just go into Coco. I do not want um, this thing taking us out. So let's go into Coco. Hopefully, he'll take the damage. Slacking is going to be a big problem. I can already tell. Let's actually mark off Sableye. We killed the Sableye. He's going to go for the Giga Impact. Ouch. Ouch. We should take it. We take it, actually, very well. Um, question is, is it going to switch out here? So, my options here are... Like, I really want to paralyze this thing. I really do want to paralyze this thing. But he's not going to stay in. The question is, what is he going to switch out to? Because I know he's... He knows that I'm going to try paralyzing. Something. But if I do go for the Sacred Sword... Nothing wants to take a Sacred Sword, really, either. Yeah, let's go for the Sacred Sword and see how much damage we can do. And I think we can take actually one more Giga Impact. Yeah, let's go for the Sacred Sword. Here we go. He's going to stay in. We're going to hit him really hard. Uh, that's a 2 hit KO. It's a crit. Oh, it's a crit. That would explain a lot. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we can take a Giga... Oh, wait, wait. He's going to go for an Earthquake. He's not, he's not dumb enough to not go for, he's going to go for an Earthquake here, and that's going to take us out. I have a feeling that super effective Earthquake is going to take us out. Ooh, that would really hurt. Let's go for that Sacred Sword again. Let's hope we can live. I don't think we can, but we'll try, we'll try, we'll definitely try, my friends. Oh, we're actually faster, so he is not Choice Scarfed? Beautiful, okay, all right. We, uh, we did it. We did it, guys. Gonna take out the slacking here. Gonna knock him out. Alright, so he's got the Articuno, the Infernate, the Beedrill, and the Magneton. Literally, I could probably sweep with, uh... Well, you know what? Darmanitan could do really well. Huh. I guess the question is, is Darmanitan cannot outspeed Beedrill. Um, do I have an option for Beedrill? That's kind of the question here. I don't really have an option. He's going to sound Jay-Z again, which is the Infernape. And I kind of do have to switch here. I can't keep in Cobalion against an Infernape. It's not going to go well for me. Can we switch in Mucket? Can Mucket take anything this guy wants to do? Yeah, I mean, he's got, he has the Heat Wave and he has a mo like the fighting moves. Mucket can take it. Mucket can take it. Mucket is power. I don't think this thing has Earthquake. It's, it can't have Earthquake. There's no, there's no way it has Earthquake. Let's switch out to Mucket. 
And this is probably this is a predictable switch, uh, obviously, but I don't think he has really anything to deal with that. So I'm totally okay with that. He's gonna go right for the flare blitz, and that's not gonna do. Hopefully, not gonna do. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, ooh, it's a crit. He got his own crit. He is gonna take that massive amount of recoil though, and uh, we're gonna probably lose Mucket here. But that's alright. He actually has the mock punch. That'll probably hurt. Let's go for the shadow sneak. Yeah, let's go for the Shadow Sneak. Just try to get some damage off on him. That's the only thing we can do. He's going to outspeed us, no problem. We can at least do a little bit of damage with a max at it. Maybe we'll get a Poison. Poison, Poison. Hey, hey, hey. No, you turn, you turn. You turn out. Um, so now, oh, I lived. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get another I'm gonna get another Shadow Sneak onto something. That is beautiful. I kind of actually almost want to switch him out so I can Shadow Sneak later. That sounds like a good plan too. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's see what he goes out into. He uh, doesn't have a lot of... What I'm most worried about is Beedrill. I'm really worried about Beedrill. Beedrill, uh, I've, act I've swept before with Beedrill just because of the amount, the sheer speed and power that adaptability Mega Beedrill has is uh, crazy. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. And I think, I don't know, I think Obama Snow can take a hit though. So, we'll probably get, he's going to go to Magnazone. And Magnazone, that's what it's called. It's not Magneton. Duh. It's a Magnazone. It's a UFO. We're going to get that Black Sledge recovery. Not that it matters. I um, almost want to say that we're faster than a Magnazone. Let's see. Let's see really quick. Magnazone. How fast are you? You can't be that fast. You're 60. What is Muck? My Muck is not max speed, though. I doubt he's max speed. He might be. Ah, oh, he does outspeed. We don't really have a, a choice here. But to switch out, we could switch out into Coco or Obama, though. He's probably got that HP fire, though, because he's probably got Magnet Pull. And he comes prepared for uh, Scissors and the like. So, 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 so. Yeah, I think Muck is just going to stay in and go for the Shadow Sneak. That sucks, because I really wanted him to do, uh, to do a lot better than that. But, oh well. Oh well. It happens. It happens. Not gonna do any damage, and we are. He's gonna volt switch, so we can get another. He's got that. He's got that. Uh, that volt turn, um, synchronized going on. Like he just he got that switch initiative, which is really good for him, and uh, that's you know good for him. Good good on you, Troy. You really are an ace trainer in that regard. So, let's see what he goes into and what I'm gonna go into. He got he's got to pick first though, right? Or does he have to pick first and then I pick? I'm pretty sure he has to pick first. So he sent out Jay Z. So I do get a switch initiative. Jay Z is gonna come out. What do we have to deal with Jay Z? What do we have? Honestly, we have Rule 34. We have Rule 34, the Gardevoir. Although, let me check something really quick. Um, Infernape. I know you probably guys. I don't know if you guys hate when I look things up. Um, if you do, I apologize. But uh, I don't know speed tiers like at all. So I'm sorry. But I'm not. Sorry, actually. I don't really care what you what you think about that. Um, so actually, yeah, let's go into Rule 34. There's nothing else we can do here. I could go into Trident and bait it out. Yeah, Rule 34 is where it's at. Rule 34 is going to come in, and uh, Rule 34 is going to be able to hit. Articuno is probably a special wall, though. We're going to get that. We're going to trace that Iron Fist. Man, can you imagine if I was a physical attacking uh, Gardevoir? That'd be insane. Let's go for. Ooh, I have Psy Shock though. Wait, we have Moonblast too. Are you? Is he automatically Fairy? He is. Yeah. Let's go for Psy Shock. There's no reason not to go for Psy Shock. Even though I have a feeling he's gonna switch in Articuno. Uh, Psy Shock hits on the defensive side, not the special side. So we're in a pretty good spot. We are gonna go first with that Choice Scarf, and this is a dead Infernape. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Great. We're we're doing we're doing pretty good. I'm I'm relatively surprised I went into this super nervous and um, it's not bad I think it's the Game Boy Luke shirt that's what it is it has to be the Game Boy Luke shirt gonna bring in the Magnezone um, what can we do here I kind of want to keep it for I kind of want to keep this because I want I think I can outspeed Beedrill with it but I also don't want to risk anything like that so what can we do here can we go into Coco how much does Magnezone have good special def or defense? I'm pretty sure it does. It's a freaking made out of steel. Derp. It has to be. Come on. 
Oh yeah, his defense is like 115. I'm, I'm not messing with that. Let's go into Coco. And he'll know that I'm Scarfed if I do this. But I think Coco out of all my Pokemon is probably the least useful here. So not a bad idea to switch that out. I kind of want to actually set up rocks too if I can just for the Articuno when it comes in. It's going to take a lot of damage from the rocks. He's going to go for the Flash Cannon, which isn't going to do uh, a lot to me. Uh, no, okay, it does quite a bit. Um, did a bit. Okay. <laughs> Cobalion has way more speed than this thing, without a doubt. Uh, it does have way, yeah, oh my goodness, it has so much more. And he doesn't want to switch anything into it. He does not want to take a Sacred Sword. But he's going to take a Sacred Sword. He's going to take this Sacred Sword. He's going to actually withdraw. And I feel like he's going to go to Articuno, and that is going to be neutral. Not Zapdos, that's a great name. That's a great name. Um, definitely kind of sucks that he's bringing this in. I'm pretty sure, like we've talked about before, Articuno cannot outspeed. How much damage did we do? Nothing. We didn't do anything. So is this a defensive? Or actually, I'm not even invested. That uh, And it's neutral, so that's probably why I didn't do uh, a whole lot. So we actually have the opportunity here to go for a... Stealth Rock. Yeah. We have the opportunity to go for a Stealth Rock here. I'm not too worried about anything else. Um, we could go for Volt Switch. Volt Switch would probably be a better idea. But I don't want to take anything this thing's going to throw out. I'd rather Coco go down. Ah, uh, what can we do here? What can we do? Yeah, let's set up the, st the safe Stealth Rock. I could Thunder Wave too, but I think... I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're going to be faster than it no matter what. Let's set up Stealth Rocks just in case he wants to. Do, he does want to play that Switch game. Uh, we are going to be able to lower his stuff. He's going to use Hurricane. It actually does hit, which is good for him. That's really suck if it didn't hit. And we're going to go into the Darmanitan next. And Darmanitan is pretty good from here. Darmanitan can go for Flare Blitzes all day and not have to worry about it. And then just in the off chance that Darmanitan does go down, we do have um, a lot of Pokemon in the back that can handle all this stuff. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Darmanitan, yeah, you are faster. Cool. All right, Flare Blitz it is. Let's go for it. This is a dead Zapdos. I mean, not Zapdos. God, he actually got me. He got me, guys. He got me. He got me with that, that joke. I fell for it. <laughs> Gosh. Maybe this Game Boy Luke. Oh, he's going to Roost. Hmm. Roosting Zapdos. I guess he's expecting... I'm actually surprised he's faster. That's, uh, that's news to me as well. That should take him out. Yeah, there's no freaking way. Darmanitan is a ridiculous wall breaker. Uh, that's kind of why I brought him, because he works extremely well with Obama Snow and takes out a lot of things that wall Obama Snow. Um, I did not come up with that. I looked it up on Smoggin, so do not think I'm awesome because I'm terrible at this game. So he's going to bring out the Beedrill. And we are going to get the uh, that, that on him, but I almost have a feeling that he's going to switch out. Because actually, I don't, yeah, Beedrill is not by, by itself is not faster. And I am almost positive, almost positive that he will be, he's going to switch it out. Or he's going to go for Protect. There's no doubt about it. He's going to go for Protect. He has to go for Protect. There's no doubt about it. Oh man, I don't think Obama Snow can even handle this guy either though. He's going to go for Protect. There's no doubt about it. And then he's going to make evolve, and then he's going to outspeed and kill me. Hmm. <laughs> he could actually still win this look really easily. I kind of want to go on to Trident, because I know that he's going to do that, and I think Trident can take at least one hit from this guy without a problem. But ever since the League, he and he set up that Substitute, I've been really worried that they're also going to set up Substitutes. So... Yeah, this is hard. This is really difficult to decide what to do. All right, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to risk it. We're just gonna have to risk it. I I don't know. I don't think he's gonna set up substitute. Let's go into Trident. Trident can uh, Trident can. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should went for the U-turn. Oh, I should went for the U-turn, just in case he did want to set up the uh, the uh, what's it called? Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, he's just gonna Mega Evolve. And let's see if he goes for the protect. If he goes right for the attack, oh, I totally, I totally mis, I totally misplayed that. Okay, he does go for the protect, and doesn't get so. Okay, this is great. This is good. Let's go for the knockoff. And actually, knockoff's not going to do as much. Let's go for the crab hammer. But if we miss this crab hammer, we're done, though. 
Let's go for the crab hammer. Let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. Unless he switches out. He might predict it. Oh, he's gonna go for the U-turn. He is gonna go for the U-turn. I should went for the knockoff. Wow. Actually, I mean, I expected that as adaptability bug, but jeez. Oh my goodness. That was madness. That was madness. Okay. But we can actually go for the knockoff here, and uh, it's gonna be okay. We're okay. It's okay. And if, even if this misses, we're, we're gonna do good damage. Even if it misses. Gonna hit him with that crab hammer. We're gonna do a ton of damage still. And we are gonna be able to go for the knockoff here. And that is gonna be a dead Magnezone. I know he's not he's not faster. He cannot be faster. Great. 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 Fantastic. We are doing really well against Ace Trainer Troy here. Uh, gonna knock off the choice specs. You see that he had the uh, the monocle on that made it made him have more uh, more spells in his spell book. <laughs> Pokemon's great, but honestly, it could use a lot more swords and magic. Let's be honest here. Uh, that'd be a way cooler Pokemon game, I think. Now, I do not have the Aqua Jet on this, um, which, you know, because it's from it's from Nick, and it did not have Aqua Jet. So, uh, yeah, So that, but that's okay, because we're going to go for knockoff. We're going to let him go down, and it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. He's going for the Poison Jab. That is going to kill. Uh, it's so funny how it always ends up being Mega Beedrill. Even with me, it's always ended up being Mega Beedrill being my last Pokemon. He always seems to be like your last hope in a, in a world where things may not work out for you, you know? Let's go into Obama. I kind of want to go into Obama, though. I feel he's still going to outspeed. He's still going to outspeed Gardevoir. How do I think that? Oh, he's still going to outspeed. I know he is. I think Obama, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna win this. There's no reason for him not to win. Unless, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going with Obama though. And I do not have the ice shard on Obama though. Uh, which, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I do. No, I don't, I have Blizzard on him. Oh man, why did I not bring the priority? Why did I not bring the priority? Priority would have been a much better idea. Let's actually be kind of jerks and go for the, oh, I do have the ice shard. Huh. Let's go for the Protect. Yeah, let's go for the Protect because I just want to um, get some hail damage on him. Because I don't know if an Ice Shard... He's really fragile. Uh, actually, he's really fragile on the defensive side, so an Ice Shard should actually kill. Probably without a problem. But, so maybe I'm just kind of... I'm just, I'm just, you know, preventing the inevitable for like a, a few seconds. Because I have a feeling a Poison Jab is going to take me out. Without a doubt, no problem. And yeah, let's go for the Ice Shard here. I wanted to actually go for the Leech Seed, but I can't take one hit. Let's go for the Ice Shard. Let's see if this kills. Come on, come on. Yep, does kill. All right. Whew. Jeez, that was intense. Thank you so much, Ace Trainer Troy. I appreciate it. On my phone, turn, shut, turn down. For what phone? Uh, I appreciate it immensely. 